Welcome back to The Founder. You are once again with me here, uh, Tasha Sejal, of course. And uh, we're here at the Columbo Cooperative. Big love going out to them for making this show all possible. And uh, of course, much love going out to all our supporters as well. Today, I have Jude with me to talk about perfumes. How are you, Jude? Hi, very good. I'm Hi. doing great. How about you? Good, I'm good. I'm glad uh, that we're matching the wall behind us. Yeah, that's true, that's true. It's a beautiful one. <laughs> Blending in. Uh, so tell me, uh, you know, the first the first moment you came in here I, I could actually get a, an amazing scent yeah <laughs> and then I got to know it so it was about your perfume so tell me about your company and everything about it um, I'm representing uh, La Signo the fragrance okay. which is a uh, first Sri Lankan luxury perfume brand okay so uh, actually uh, it's a concept from uh, Mr. Lahiru Pereira I have to mention it he's the one who found this uh, La Senor concept okay. as, uh, as his stage name. So uh, me, I'm the founder of the fragrance. Nice. So uh, we was we was looking for some merchandising uh, concept. Okay. So uh, I came up with the perfume line. Okay, so uh, tell me how it initially began and uh, when it initially began. So uh, like, let's say like four or five years back, mm -hmm. I have done a, a brand to one of the Sri Lanka famous fashion company so after that uh, I had the master plan in my mind to have uh, our own fragrance line right so uh, looking for the concept and looking for a name um, I really want to have something very Sri Lankan and just to bring this name to international market so suddenly one day I came up with uh, I saw one video from uh, Lahiru so his logo and the name was very uh, inspiring. So from that day, we have started last year in the fragrance. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. So yeah. did you know Lahiru before? Uh... To be honest, no. no I okay. don't know him, but I'm very, very good fan of him. Okay. So I used to listen his music since last 10 years. Yeah. So uh, that was maybe uh, one of the reason to what a re what a really nice collaboration, yes, right? That's From true. a fan, fan to, to collaborator. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So, what really, um, you know, you, you spoke about uh, how you wanted to collaborate with Lahiru. What really inspired you to get into perfumes? Uh, I am in the perfumery for last decade, okay. more than a decade, almost uh, thirteen years. Okay. So I used to work with uh, retails, almost more than four hundred fifty international brands. Mm -hmm. Uh, lately, I start to work with uh, designing and manufacturing. Okay. So I had the background already. So uh, as I said, with that background, I was looking. I was looking forward to have some Sri Lankan concept right. to the country. So uh, that's how we started. Okay. So tell me about the perfume. Okay, the last in the fragrance. It has uh, four references okay. as a brand, and it has two pillars. Okay. Uh, music edition and private edition the both pillars okay so in each pillar we have uh, two fragrances so music edition we have one fragrance for ladies it called rambari okay uh, oh, that's nice. yeah rambari was the first song of uh, lahiru yeah, pereira everybody and knows yes that everyone song. Yeah. knows that that's the most famous one and even with the fragrance that's the most famous with the ladies oh really all of them i need are to check this out yeah sure <laughs> Uh, all of them are in love with La Rambari perfume and uh, uh, we have uh, another line for man from uh, music edition it called Chinatown. Chinatown, yeah. okay. Also it inspired from one of his uh, brilliant song, songs, Chinatown. Okay. Yeah. So uh, the private edition it has uh, Miss Ellis and Mr. Ellis. Okay. Uh, also uh, very uh, like uh, Miss Ellis for sophisticated women, right. right, and uh, for ex executive uh, men, mm -hmm. Mr. Ellis. Oh, so nice. that's the four fragrance what we have today. Okay, and uh, what is the scent like, if you can explain it in words? Okay, uh, rambari, it's floral, fruity, floral. Okay. fruity smell. My kind of perfume. Yeah, <laughs> young girls, yeah. mostly they like it. And Chinatown is spicy and fresh. Spicy, okay, yeah. cool. Uh, Mr. Ellis, it's kind of uh, woody smell. Woody, okay. Yeah, woody smell, which has uh, uh, like sandalwood base. Okay. And rambari, uh, not the rambari. The other one. The other yeah. one, Miss Ellis, it's uh, uh, like oriental touch. Oh, nice. For a woman. 
which is mostly nice for night time and uh, for night dress, yeah. something like that. Okay, so was it challenging initially to get uh, the products out? Uh, yes, it was a big challenge because we are manufacturing uh, in Dubai, Okay. but uh, the most challenging part was we formulate the fragrance in France. Right. Oh, so wow. uh, it was a huge process and a huge investment. So uh, formulating the, uh, the fragrances in France and get down to Dubai to do the rest of the manufacturing part and bring it back to Sri Lanka, which was very challenging. But uh, we had uh, a, a great team. Mm -hmm. I have to mention uh, Mr. Daher, who is our CEO of the company. Okay. Uh, he was uh, backing up uh, with all, all of us, right. with me and Lahiru both. And, uh, uh, even though it was challenging, but we have succeeded. Succeeded. Yeah. And have you failed before you succeeded? Definitely. All of us, we have say, failed may, maybe a million times, you know. As long as you failed, it means you gain some more experience. Right. So you can start up with a, a new vision. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And uh, you guys, um, with the brand, with the perfume brand, you're coming into uh, the second year, is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what year. are you hoping for the year 2020? We are hoping to year 2020, it's enough in Sri Lanka now, we want to go to international, international level in market. International, that's good, okay. Yeah, so we are already having some uh, requests, requests and uh, some proposals from different countries. Okay. So in 2020, we are planning to move forward from Sri Lanka to international. That's really good. That's yeah. amazing to see our brands go out there. That's true. That's and you're true. the man making it happen. That's amazing. Thank you. And uh, so tell me, if the, if it wasn't perfumes, would there be any other uh, <laughs> career that you would be pursuing in your life? Uh, me, I'm uh, graduated in information technology. Oh, right. Okay. So information technology to perfume, it's like earth to, uh, to, <laughs> yeah. it's to sky, you know, yeah. so it's totally different. But uh, me personally, I found myself as a, a designer mm -hmm. uh, and the founder for many things. Mm -hmm. So I would love to do this kind this of things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and of course, it was is there any other brand that you would like to take over if you ever had the opportunity? Uh, if it is a fashion brands, yeah, lots right. of fashion brands are there, like perfume brands, of yeah. course. So uh, there are lots of international brands you can say. Uh, one of my favorite brand is Giorgio Armani. Right. So uh, if one day if I have a chance <laughs> to take over Giorgio Armani brand, definitely yeah, I will no do that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> reach for the stars. Mm -hmm. uh, so another thing is, uh, what what would you say is success to you, Miss Jude? Success, uh, yeah, let's say like uh, you put some goals and. Uh, you uh, you will manage to accomplish this goal it means you are successful it depends on each of us mm. uh, let's say today i want to come here i can say it's successful mm. right or uh, what we have come up with the last one of the fragrance i had the thought to do something that i have done mm -hmm. so I'm, I will, I'm successful right so we are moving forward moving forward yeah, yeah. So every day it could be like a success. Different, goal different day, target, yeah. different goal. So we are achieving and moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. So up to this date, what is a marketing strategy that you rely on? To be honest, for last in the fragrance, we we never use a specific strategy for marketing because we have a live ambassador with us, yeah, Mr. Lahiri Pereira. So he's always representing uh, with his costumes and yes. all these things, the last thing you And wherever concept. he goes as well. Yeah, but uh, still, uh, what I believe as a marketing uh, uh, strategy to deliver a, a high quality product. Right. So when we are delivering high quality product, it market itself. Right. Like whoever the people uh, using the, the fragrance, if it is long lasting, if it's good smell, what we deliver, the, the, what customer wants, definitely it will market itself. Yeah. That's how we came so far with last year of the fragrance. Okay. So Mr. Jude, where can we find your product? So uh, you can find it in online, first of all, because we have launched the product uh, like one and a half year, two years back in online. Mm -hmm. But recently, like last, since last month, uh, our products are available in exclusive lines, right. which is the only uh, luxury perfume retailer in Sri Lanka. So you can find it in Marino Mall, you can find it in uh, Crescat, 
Candy City Center and uh, a few more stores. So uh, at the moment only with exclusive lines. Okay. So we are planning to have our own boutique uh, maybe in this year, end of this year. Right. We, uh, it's not uh, about only La Signor the fragrance because we have a uh, few concepts coming up uh, for some fashion brands, right. so it's called La Signo Colombo, nice. our fashion line. So all together we will have one boutique type of uh, shop, shop. Uh, okay. soon in okay. Sri Lanka. Oh, that's good. I uh, can't wait for that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I will be uh, there for sure. For Thank the you. <laughs> and uh, another thing is, uh, you know, everybody has their stories and uh, there's also fun involved in a lot of uh, you know, businesses starting up. Uh, I want to ask you, is there anything crazy that you've done in, in office? <laughs> yeah. To be honest, what we are doing, everything, I believe that all crazy things, you know. If we didn't come with such crazy ideas, we never end up with uh, sure. this place. Sure. So, I have done all the things I consider <laughs> as crazy things. Okay. <laughs> and I bet you have some crazy memories with uh, Mr. Lahiru as well. <laughs> yeah, definitely. When we are developing, he was used to come to Dubai and we was, uh, you know, like choosing the bottles, juices and all these things. All it was fun time that we create all these things from very much love. Mm -hmm. uh, for the brand and uh, I bet you know you guys um, test a lot of things and you yeah. need a good nose for that too that's true, that's true. Uh, so uh, uh, of course uh, it would be in a fun process yes that's true <laughs> especially uh, like before we launched last year the fragrance I have done a research in Sri Lanka so asking from the people what type of smells do you like okay uh, oh, yes. yeah so uh, it was a great time especially mm -hmm. I gained lots of uh, knowledge about Sri Lankan people what they think mm -hmm. what they admire what lifestyle they would like to have always. Right. So uh, it was, I believe that the, the, that research time period, it was one of the, the great time for okay. uh, develop the last of the fragrance. Uh, and uh, how did you initially conduct that research? Was it just initially family and friends or did you like, um, how did you do that? Like a survey or? Like, let's say like first year it was like family and friends. Okay. But uh, since uh, we start the second year, of the research, uh, we came up uh, with all the people, especially the area in Colombo. So uh, we tried with few smells with uh, random uh, people mm -hmm. and uh, we choose from that. So uh, almost let's say like more than 500 people we involved for this uh, research. Right, right. Uh, and what would you say Sri Lankans are more into? The fresh, fresh, fresh smells. Okay. Oh. Fresh smells because uh, because maybe it's because of the weather yeah yeah um, and I believe that uh, the f even the fresh smells always it refresh your mind refresh yeah, yeah. yeah that's true and the special thing what I have to mention uh, like you know there are lots of international brands yeah none of the brand made only for Sri Lanka really oh yeah. okay but last yeah Sri Lanka. Okay. but last in your the fragrance mainly made for Sri Lankan people. There so you that's heard it. Yeah, you yeah, heard it that's right a great here. Thing. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so that makes it actually very special at yeah. the same time. Are you guys on social media platforms? Yeah, definitely. Okay. We have our uh, Instagram, we have okay. our Facebook. Uh, so lots of interactions happening always. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. So what's what's kind of like an ad advice that you can give to someone who's watching this right now and say, "Man, I want to be like that guy." Uh, what, what kind of advice would you give for people wanting to start their new thing uh, and come up in this world? Uh, whoever entrepreneurs want to start, start it now. Start it now, okay. Yeah, that's, this is the right time, you know. So don't think that your idea is crazy, your idea is not, maybe it will not match. Don't think that other people, they will like it or not. You do first, start up, uh, make your own plans. It doesn't need uh, a place, office, no need. Yeah. Sit in your bed, think about, dream about it, and start to write down your notes and uh, accomplish it. That's very inspiring. And uh, like you said, nowadays people don't need offices, especially uh, with a place like this. Uh, big love going out to Colombo Cooperative for making uh, the show all possible. And uh, of course, they're providing these modern workspaces and creative spaces for companies of all sizes, even if you don't have that uh, you know basis you can start off right here um, they want to ask you a very special question of course um, what was your workspace like first work workspace 
first workplace, uh, it was a coffee shop. Coffee shop, okay. Yeah, it was a coffee shop in Dubai Mall. <laughs> uh, I have to mention about Mr. Daher. Okay. So, every afternoon, we were sitting there for three, four years, uh, brain, brainstorming, uh, research, writing te uh, notes, uh, developing the things. We used to spend lots of time in that coffee shop. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the first workplace and uh, I love to be there always because right. okay. we got uh, started many things from that place. Yeah, so when you go back, you just uh, go to that coffee shop and... Definitely, definitely yeah, yeah, always, yeah, always, <laughs> always we are there. <laughs> that's good to know, man. It's been a really good pleasure talking to you, uh, Mr. Jude. Thank you. And I wish you all the success for 2020 and to Mr. Lahiru as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. I wish you the same. Thank you. And there you have it. Uh, of course, you got to go check out Mr. Jude over here. And and uh, we'll catch you next time right here on The Founder with me, Tasha Sejal.